but hopefully you guys can see this sippy was telling me all right so you watch videos all the time and folks are you know showing off these four thousand dollar crossbows you know crossbows that a lot of us cannot afford you'd rather go buy a car than to buy a crossbow right right so <laughs> does it make much sense uh, or a motorcycle you know a $300 price range or $200 price range and they're not much difference between these and I just kind of wanted to talk about it. now this is what brought this up Sippy have you ever shot a crossbow honestly no I have not okay so she's never shot a crossbow and people will watch these videos of people shooting crossbows and say well you know what that doesn't look too difficult I'll just give it a try and <laughs> You know what I mean? So, the significant difference between the two here, compound and recurve, okay? So, you still have compound and you still have recurve, even though you're in the field of crossbows. And these are the poor man versions. This, this is the Raptor. Uh, that's, that's another Barnett right there. Uh, but, if... You want something, the recurve is probably your best bet if you're in the field, say uh, you're out in the woods and you've gone some distance and you bring a backup string to raise string if something happens to the string, okay? That's something you'd be able to do with a recurve in the woods. Everyone who shoots recurve bows knows that you can restring them pretty easy. You know, a little technique there and just bend it back. Now, the problem with a compound is once the once this go once once you you damage the string then or damage a pulley or damage anything with it you're done unless you've got some kind of press uh i'm pretty sure in the wilderness you won't have um you know like spring compressors and things like that to be able to bring it back and you'd have to take it to a bow shop just to put it in a jig and have them do it so that's the disadvantage of this now power wise you get 350 feet per second almost four it, it's roughly it's like i think it goes like 380 or something but you know over here it's 250 uh, 300 feet per second from this see it's not much difference and you can still hit targets just quite the same and they come with the same kind of features uh this one's lighter this one's a, <laughs> quite a bit heavier and it all it's all because of the rail the rail is what makes it heavy, and you've got to keep these lubricated with, uh, um, you can use different types of wax. You want to be able to wax these and keep them waxed. These rails, a lot of rails, when you get them, like they're, uh, you know, they're, they'll be solid. Uh, they've, they, they are like laser guided uh, machines make these rails, and some have gotten cheap over the years about making them. But the rail is key. It's the most important part of it. And what's cool about these, um, like Barnett's, they're cool because they're safety. I always like their safety features. Let's see. I'll, I'll get to the safety features here in a minute. But here, uh, loading one of these is something like this. And I'm pretty sure Sippy could do it. But I'll just go ahead and show you loading one of these. Can they see okay? Mm -hmm. Make sure the camera's still pointed down. All right, so you just bring this guy here, bring that in. Now, uh, if you're strong as an ox, you know what I mean? Something like this, you might be able to get it without this, but uh, just. To me, it wouldn't be worth tearing something even you if you are strong. Damage, keeping everything nice and even. Well, I'm saying your muscles. Well. Well, it's just keeping everything nice and even. You see how much easier it is for me to pull this like this. And then I can bring that all the way up. Lock it in place. So that's, this string here goes over the back side. You got a notch here. You can also put a crank on here. Then you're, you're spending, you know, another 150 bucks or something for a, for a crank. Uh. You can put a crank on this one, I believe. It's got the, it's got the hole mounts for it. I think your prey would be gone by that time. <laughs> now, this one, uh, this one's sighted in for long range, so I don't know how it would do at close range. And I'm kind of at close range, <laughs> but I'm going to shoot anyway. 
it's going to be a little off. It's probably either going to be too high or too low. But it's one thing target. I wanted to show you, if you didn't want to fire, you could put in a, this is a decocker. And you just shoot these at the deck. You just shoot them at the ground. You can shoot them at a tree or something, whatever. But when you load one of these in, you just bring it in. And what's cool about these, the fire, if you see this, it won't go into fire. You've got to bring this all the way back for it to push this little, uh, I call it a little tit, but anyways, whatever you want to call it. Now you can go into fire. And now you can fire that off. Now, you put it back in safe and just remove it. I just wanted to show that real quick. There is a difference. These are called bolts, not arrows. I'm hoping you guys are getting a pretty good class out of this. These are bolts, not arrows. These are a bit longer than the others. I think these are 18s, uh, but these are the longer ones. Just put the red down. You can use ditties if you want. Red is dead, things like that. I usually use all kinds of little ditties. Now, just gonna put this on five green and uh, we'll give it a shot. Let's just hold it like a shotgun or a rifle. I don't want to slice a thumb off. Where do I keep my thumb clear? <laughs> this, okay. I'll, symbols. <laughs> I'll come over here. All right, so I, I don't want to get my hand in this barrier here, but okay. if you read right here, it says danger, keep fingers below this track. So okay. right here is your guides to keep your fingers out of the way. You don't want your hand or arms in the middle of this mess. So uh, it's still on safe right now. Uh, the optic is on. I turned it on five. It's on green. And I guess I got nothing else to tell you. It's pretty simple. Just uh, press your cheek into the press your cheek into it, just like you're getting a nice accurate shot. And take the safety off when you're ready. And where's the safety? It's right oh, here. Right here. No, you you got it's ambidextrous. Look. Oh, okay. So it's on both sides. Okay. All right. Now use use the top green dot to put on target. Which one never you, you know? Either the pink one or the green one. <laughs> pink one or the green. I'm it's I was going to say. <laughs> oh my goodness. All don't right. Judge Just you, there, it, okay, so it's a three. It's a. Don't. All right, hang on. See, it's a three point system. It's like a. Uh, uh, it's three point. So three pins. That's kind of. It kind of simulates a three pin sight. Holy cow. Did you just like get him in the. No, I barely, I barely got him. <laughs> I think you got him in the butt though. <laughs> or, or in the stomach, I mean. Yeah, I think I got him in the gut. Good, good. All right, so first attempt. Now, how do you feel about the bigger one? Uh, it's not for somebody my frame. I don't like it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. It's a little heavy. All right, let's go to the smaller one real quick. All right, I'm not sure how well you can see me. Well, this one's pretty simple, and I would recommend it to anyone uh from from uh youth you know all the way up it doesn't matter i found this to be my favorite <laughs> this is the one that i like to carry around with me it's uh it's a lot of fun to shoot it's very accurate and well i just haven't had any trouble with it so um uh, loading loading's pretty much the same thing you have a notch here so in case you have you don't have as much upper body strength which it takes a lot of force to pull one of these back, so just keep that in mind. So, um, but you have a notch, so you can still hook up the pulley system. And, but for me, uh, this one I just grab and just like that. So it's pretty mm -hmm. easy to load. And same thing, except you're using 18 inch arrows for this one. Instead of red on these arrows, you got the white. White will go down. Same thing happens here. When you load it, it hits this tit inside here, and that'll allow you to put it on fire or safe. Okay, so it's that simple. Anyway, just get in the zone, and you just rip that sucker back. There you go. Holy you got cow, it. Cow, take twenty-five. <laughs> it's it's but some work. It. It's some work. It's some work. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It took me five times. But you did it once. But and then you could do it like 20, 30 more times. Yeah, I just, it's something to get used to doing. Definitely. Good job. Give me five. Yeah. Good job. Now you want to do the whole thing. So yeah. you, let's go ahead and let me, let Load me beam. And everything. I don't know how to do All that. right. 
Let's we'll just bring this down. All right, grab an 18. That's an 18. Yep, you got it. How do I tell if it's an 18? Uh, the length. It's just it's okay. a bit shorter than the other ones. Okay. All right. Uh, the white blade is down. Okay. That's your fletching. It okay. it goes down. Just right. drop that in and just slide it back. Oh, okay. Slide it all the way in there until it stops. Okay. All right, you're good. All right, now bring it up like a shotgun. Oh, this is a lot lighter. All right, let's let me turn this around. Now you want to turn your optic on, okay? How you're gonna. Do so. Um, this way. All right, hang on. This one here. I know you're used to iron sights, mm -hmm. but just crank it back, and then you're on five. Okay. So you're on five green. Gotcha. You got your three pin sights. You're going to use the top pin. Take your safety off when you're ready to fire. Remember, it's ambidextrous, just like the other one. Where did my dots go? <laughs> there they are. It's, it's your hat. The bill of your hat's blocking the dots. Yeah. <laughs> you know, did you just hit my. Oh my you God. just smacked my bolt. Yeah, I did. Beat you. Dude. Look at this. I had it out. Look at her. She she did another headshot right there. Oh we got two two in the same spot. Yes. That's hilarious. You're such a redneck. Mm -hmm. Good job, babe. Well, what do you think? Um, it's it's a lot of fun. That the other one has you can feel the power. It's got a lot of force. That yeah. Thing, you can it it thumps when definitely but, take down a deer. Oh yeah. But this one I, I like it just. It's lighter and lighter. that will do the job. It's it um, you know proper broadheads. You put some decent bladed broadheads on there. Some toxic whatevers, mm -hmm. toxic heart blades. Uh, you can get the job done with mm -hmm. that one. You don't you don't need this bigger one. Uh, and it's that's lighter heavy. weight. It's easier to carry. You can carry more bolts with you. It's easy to repair. Mm -hmm. That's the way I've always thought of it. Got to keep benching, bro. Work a muscle body strength. You got to do that CrossFit, bro. CrossFit. All right. Went straight through. <laughs> All the way through. It's gone. All right, here we go. All right, so this is without the assist. So just to show you that it is possible with the compound to do the same thing. So I'm going to do it for you. Just like that. Same thing. And once you get past the resistance about right here, it just it's smooth sailing all the way up so there you go But I don't have these in my pocket. About the same as loading the musket, right? There we go. All dead center. I hope this helps you guys out there that are getting into the crossbow Dude, stuff. Dude, it's fun. Yeah, it's cool. All right. God bless you guys. Take care.